People who live in one Hampton neighborhood are finally able to return home after police spent hours investigating a suspected meth house. First responders made the discovery while answering a medical call at a home on Grimes Road. Inside, they found a man dead and drug making materials. Angelique Arentock spent hours at the scene. She joins us now live in the studio with an update. Angelique. We got to the neighborhood around 4 p.m. We watched the emergency response evolved up until police cleared out at 930. At one point, we saw multiple people in hazmat suits pulling things out of one of the homes. People who live nearby tell me they're surprised and saddened by what's unfolded in their community. For hours, traffic couldn't pass through this section of Grimes Road. Hampton police officers, firefighters, and other crews responded to investigate a potential hazmat situation. I thought maybe a gas leak or something hazmat was out here, but uh, no, it turned out worse. You know, it's sad. For a while, neighbors didn't know what was going on. Robert Gerald lives in the Fordham area. He says it's disheartening to learn what led to this emergency response. Worst possible scenario you can imagine. According to a police sergeant, 911 operators received a call for medical help to Grimes Road at around 2 p.m. on Wednesday. She says firefighters found a man dead at one of the homes. The sergeant adds first responders also discovered items inside that can make meth. Several homes in the immediate area evacuated. I'm wrapping my head around it still. A neighbor named Fallon didn't want to go on camera. The whole ordeal left her visibly shaken. She watched people in hazmat suits pull things from her neighbor's home and go through them. I'm scared. Like, it's just crazy. Hampton police have not yet told us exactly how the man died. A sergeant clarified there were no explosions. And part of the reason why neighbors are in shock is because they've never seen a scene like this play out in their community. Neighbors tell me they want the man's family to know their thoughts are with them during this difficult time. Back to you.